Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I saw an interview today that really piqued my interest, and I wanted to talk about it. It is an interview between Oddworld creator Lauren Lanning and Games Industry International. And in this interview, Lanning really ripped on capitalism and its effect on the gaming industry. Uh, just as a quick quote, referring to his own company, Lanning said, as a craftsman, our opportunity lies in finding niches where we know our audience, we focus on it, we listen to it, we respect it, and we treat it with some grace. And you know those are all good things, but I've got to say that his opposition to the $20 million budgets and the big AAA companies is a bit misplaced, and I'm going to share with you why. Let's draw a parallel to another industry. Let's talk about Walmart. Everybody hates Walmart, but... Let's talk about their history because we can look through the lens of history at Walmart and see the progression to where we are now. Walmart started growing explosively. Everyone was complaining about how Walmart was going to force mom and pop stores out of business, picture indie developers, and that everything was going to be bad because it was so many cheap products in huge quantity and it... I can't even describe to you the apocalyptic scenario that the media portrayed when Walmart was growing explosively. So, here we are 30 years later. Are the mom and pop stores still around? Yeah, for the most part. The ones that had terrible customer service, the ones who had bad business models and were barely hanging on anyway, they're gone. Walmart swept them off their feet. But the ones that were solid, the ones that were good, they're still around. And they're actually growing again now that Walmart is so far down on the popularity chain. But Walmart is also filling its own niche. The majority of people who just want a one-stop shop to buy a bunch of cheap crap, <laughs> Walmart's there for you. And there's a bunch of people that shop at Walmart, and that's a testament to the fact that, you know, they have a customer base. Let them keep their customer base. Now, Walmart's reforming because their customer service did get so bad that their business share started going down I mean, it was nose diving. So they came out with the Walmart Marketplace, and it's a small, more hometowny type store that they fit into street corners, different places. They have better customer service, they have a better selection, they cater to the small guy, and that business model's working. Even back in my hometown, there was one grocery store, very tiny chain, not really mom and pop, but very small. It was a terrible store. Horrible customer service, dirty, run down. Nobody liked it, but it was the only one there. And then Walmart Marketplace came in. Everybody started shopping over there. Friendly customer service, great selection. Why not? It's a good thing. It's Walmart, but it's driving the bad people out of business and it's providing jobs in a good um, in a good situation at that Walmart. And I say that knowing full well the... Uh, gripes that people have with Walmart, but trust me, the wages were about the same between the hometown grocery store and the Walmart. So anyway, that all worked out. And the same thing is going to happen with these AAA developers. Everyone's complaining about AAA, how AAA developers are ruining the industry. And you know what? Games from AAA developers right now as a whole, yes, they suck. But if they continue to be bad, people are going to stop buying them. And when people stop buying them, the companies are either going to have to reform or they're going to go under. And that is capitalism working. That is the marketplace working correctly. And, you know, we're going to have bad phases. We're going to have times where there's money grabs and, you know, consumers will make bad decisions and buy bad products. But they do learn eventually and they'll stop buying them and they'll go back to the smaller companies that are actually catering to specific genres and I think the AAA companies will always be around to provide mainstream games. But if you're looking for one-off experiences, little small, well-told stories, you're always going to go to the indie developers. They have the better teams for that. Whereas the big mainstream games like Call of Duty, AAA companies are better at that. So let them be good at what they're good at and stop talking about how corporations are ruining everything. Because... History has shown that it really isn't the case. The bigger chains, if they're genuinely better, they succeed. If they're worse, the smaller stores succeed. The marketplace works. Let it work. I would say that a lot of this is just an overreaction.
Alrighty, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me on this. I would love to hear your opinions in the comments. Share them, like if you like it, dislike, thumbs down if you dislike it. <laughs> Just about made it through without a slip. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, guys, that was a little snippet of something new that I'm starting. I want to start a news segment, whether it be tech news, gaming news, just relative anything that piques my interest. So I'm going to kick it off. I'm going to do it maybe a video a day for this week, dig up some material on some things that interest me. And I want to hear your feedback. I want to have constructive criticism. Um, thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you disliked it. I really mean that. I don't care what kind of ratings this specific video gets, but please tell me. Tell me what you liked so that I can expand on it. Tell me what you dislike so I can change it. I want to grow in this area, and I want to do it with you guys. You are an awesome community, and I want to bring as much solid content to you guys as I possibly can. So help me out on this, and overshare in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. Alrighty, guys. I am out of here. Thanks for watching.